fans, this is Bill Topping. We're having a preseason A-Sun discussion with Coach Casey Alexander, a new coach here at Stetson in our men's basketball program, and uh, junior basketball player Joel Nobergs. We're having a really a transition here, Coach. You've got a new staff. Uh, you're new here, and, and welcome, of course, to the program. Uh, you've had a lot of time to get things established early in this season. Uh, but what do you expect to do? We've struggled for success in the past, and, and you're making some changes. What do you expect? Well, I think the first thing that you really need to focus on uh, as a staff is just to change the culture of the way things have been. doesn't necessarily mean always that uh, the culture has been misplaced, uh, but I think you need to put your stamp on what you want the program to look like, and that's an everyday thing. That's how we, that's how we look, that's how we act, that's how we interact, that's how we practice, that's how we play. Um, it's really all-encompassing, and so that's what we're focusing on right now, day in and day out. Now, you come from a successful program at Belmont. Uh, you've brought a new coaching staff with you, if you'd like to mention their names and what their background is briefly? Well, I feel like we've really overachieved uh, with a, overachieved with the staff. Uh, really pleased with those guys. Really fortunate that they're here and part of this program. Stetson's lucky to have them. Roger Edstrom comes with me from Belmont where he served the last 11 years. A great personal friend. A uh, great uh, dependable worker. Uh, somebody that I trust a lot with every aspect of the program. Dwight Evans is someone I've known for 20 years. Has a lot of history, a lot of success. Several NCAA tournaments in his background as well. I've uh, known him since, uh, really since I played. Um, but the guy that has spent a lot of time in Florida, a uh, guy that knows these roads and these ropes, uh, coaches throughout the area, uh, great mentor for our young men, uh, great example, great professional. Steve Draven is the third member of our staff who comes with us. Uh, he's got a Belmont background, played for us, finished his time there in 2004. I've made the comment to several people that uh, Steve is the best teammate I've ever been around as a coach, a uh, guy that does what he's supposed to do when he's supposed to do it for the right reasons. And so uh, those three guys collectively are going to uh, really do a lot to enhance what this program looks like going forward. It sounds like the, uh, the kind of teamwork that will take uh, to build success here, which of course everybody at Stetson is looking forward to. Now this year's schedule, we don't have any huge games here at the Edmonds Center. Got some pretty good, important road games, so to speak. But our biggest game uh, would be the University of Florida down at the Amway Center. Uh, what about the schedule? What are you looking for there? Well, you know, I think obviously the coach is going to tell you you're going to take one game at a time. But there, there are a lot of games that you're going to point to um, as a fan that gets you excited. The, the, the one you mentioned the, being the Florida game in the Amway Center, uh, first and foremost, that's a game that people in this area will be uh, excited to attend. And then you're playing in an NBA arena. You're playing in Orlando, which is a little different venue, neutral court for that matter. And so that's one that everybody is excited about. But when you're taking over a program and when you're trying to uh, establish expectations and meet expectations, you really are more concerned with the day-to-day -day grind that makes your, takes your program where you want it to be. So that you walk into every game feeling like you've got a chance to win, starting with the exhibition with Flagler on November the 3rd and then running all the way through our last homestand, which is uh, the Belmont Lipscomb homestand, finishing up on the road and then the conference tournament in March. I know that one of those two games you're looking really looking forward to. I don't know if I am or yeah, not. Yeah, well, well I, I think I would imagine you probably will be at that point, we would hope. Uh, with us today, Joel Nalbergs, Jr., uh, you've been with the team now and had some uneven success. You personally have had some pretty good seasons here. Uh, but the new coaching staff, what do you notice? What's the difference and what are you looking forward to? Oh, well, there's a big difference. Um, first of all, just the whole game plan, the whole concept, the whole strategy is different. The whole, um, I mean, there's, there's been big differences. We've lost a lot of players yes. from uh, last year, and um, uh, people look down on us, like not expecting us to do so well. But as a team, um, I feel like the coaching staff has put on us that uh, we should be excited, we should be looking forward uh, to the season, and. Um, they're basically giving us a really good um, mindset for the season, and we're really, like as a team, we're looking really excited to uh, see how successful we can be. Well, I know it won't be from a lack of work ethic. I've had a chance to watch a few of the practices. I know that their uh, up tempo was understating it, but I know that uh, y'all are putting in the work, and uh, I'm looking forward to pay off this year. Uh, Stetson basketball, and look, things are looking up. That's it for uh, Stetson Basketball Men's Preseason Preview. Uh, this is Bill Topping, and uh, thanks for tuning in.